Hello, if there's anyone out there, as uh, Pink Floyd once said. Um, if not, this is a very quick video. We're going to run a brand new Raspberry Pi 4 2 gig in some uh, DOSBox emulation suite, uh, benchmark suite. Wherever it is, there it is. Boom. Okay, let's go to C. So there we go, DOS box, whatever. Uh, so this is DOS Bench, which is a suite of benchmarks for the DOS PC of choice, which in this case is an emulator. Uh, but in the olden days, if you are old enough to remember, when the 486 was at its, um, well, coming to its end, um, Quake 1 was released, whenever that was, 1996, was it? Can't remember now. Um, and it was commonly said that you can't play it on a 486, which is fair enough, as the minimum specification, I think, was a Pentium 90. Now I vaguely remember having a 486, bum, 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 possibly 75, I think it was at the time. Or was it an 80? Well, I don't remember. Whatever it was. And um, it didn't play Quake very well. But it did play Quake, kind of. Now the, the um, I think the time demo of the time, um, was something like 5 FPS and I remember someone buying a 486133 which was an AMD and they could get 7 I think it was or 8 FPS, it might have been 7 it was extremely little um, little difference between the two but anyway it might have been 7 but anyway let's see what Top Bench tells us it is where's Quake? Quake Time Demo C so this should give you the preset time demo um, playing a, well I'm sure you know what it is, playing the uh, walkthrough or speed run, whatever you want to call it, and it will give you the frames and the average FPS, which already looks pretty slow. Oh my goodness, was it really this bad back in the day? Um, but the impressive thing is that this is a or an ARM processor emulating a 486 or an Intel processor <coughs> emulating the DOS environment running Quake perfectly, some would say, even if it is even if it is a little bit choppy. But this is quite impressive nonetheless. Now, if you were playing this in real life, if this was your system back in the day, you could reduce the screen a little. You just bring the borders in by pressing the minus key, I think it was, just like Doom. And um, the game would run along reasonably quicker. Nin, Nine Inch Nails. There's a monster to the top left. Is it top left or top right? Top left, okay. Uh, you fall into the water, and there's are there some skelly bobs in the water, or oh, we don't go in the water. What are we doing? Okay, don't remember that bit. It has been twenty years since I played this, more or less. I have played it briefly on the Amiga, but I haven't run the time demo for a long time. It's very brown, wasn't it, Quake? A brown game in a brown world. Perhaps they coded it on a Commodore 64. It seems to have a similar color palette. Oh, you need the gold key. Hmm, where is the gold key? Oh, there it is. Now you get zombies, or whatever they are. Of course, there's no audio, as this is just... Oh, there we go. 
6.8 FPS, 969 frames. So, um, this is about the speed of a 100 megahertz, maybe 133486 from back in the day, which I think is quite impressive for a little um, Raspberry Pi processor. Um, Ah, Retro Man Cave. Hello, Neil. How you doing? And we've got Cotter. Hi, mate. How you doing? How's everyone doing this evening? Right, let's exit out of this. How do you quit? Press escape. There you go. So there we go. We've got a little bit of quakeage. Um, Doom Max Deer, Doom Min Details. Go on, let's do a Doom Benchmark. Oh, I don't think I've ever done a Doom Benchmark. Oh, that's quite slow, isn't it? I wonder what that is. Is that 640 by 480? What do you think? I'm not sure. Oh, that's dreadful. Okay, let's try the other benchmark. Yes, quit it off. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do min details. I wonder what the difference is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's big it up a bit. That's ridiculous. <coughs> For goodness sake. Uh, yeah, that's all. The scene is smooth, but the animation is slow. I would imagine it's high detail, uh, 640 by 480 maybe. This is 320 by there, 240 was it? Okay, that plays as you expect it would. Okay. Quit the DOS, yes please. What else have we got? Uh, ba -ba 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 all right, let's do some a little bit. Let's just try a game. Please enter an option Z, please. Thank you. We've got a few games on here, as I remember. Well, I do remember. I put them on. Let's go for what's a big hitter. I didn't try NASCAR. Or did I try? I don't remember. I did briefly set this up a week or so ago, and I just haven't got around to doing a stream. I haven't really got time to do a stream now, but... If I don't do it now, it could take me another week. Let's try NASCAR by Paparis. Now this ran like a dog, as I remember. From Paparis, this is NASCAR racing. Oh, there you go, that's not too bad. We have audio as well. Well, that's pretty good, actually. I must admit, I'm surprised. Pretty damn good. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that's smooth. This was in the era when uh, PC games had uh, extremely optimistic minimum specifications. Like, you know, quite two of them, like 286, that sort of thing. Not even very bold, if you ask me. You were looking to get the damn thing ready on the. Um, the highest spec machine. I remember buying so many games that said uh, minimum spec 486, put it on a 486 and run like a slideshow. Anyway, that's pretty damn good. Should we have a quick race? What the hell? Atlanta. Yep, still got it. Still got it. You know, once you play this game, you, just, you never forget. Loud. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm not is it loud. Oh my goodness, that is loud. Let me turn it down. Uh, 
How's that? Is the sound a little bit better? Oh. I'm trying to drive and look at two screens at the same time. It's not uh, conducive to driving. This is why you should never stream and drive, kids. It's just not worth it. Okay, so that works perfectly. Your sound card works perfectly. Uh, right. Exit all that trash. Get off. What other rubbish did I put on here? Oh. Need for speed. Now that's a Windows game, I think it said, for some reason. I don't remember it being a Windows game, but it says it is. Uh, quarantine. Oh, I used to love quarantine. Links. Links works well. I did play Links. Let's have a quick go at quarantine. Quo and a little hoodie doody. Okay. Oh my god. Oh the joys of the joys of the Amiga workbench. You can just click on an icon and away it goes. How do you start the bloody thing? D I R W P Doom in a taxi. It is indeed Doom in a, <laughs> doom in a taxi. Yeah, for some reason, this game tickled me back in the day. Before I got into Carmageddon. How do you start the bloody thing? It's got to be Q, is it, or something? Oh, it's just it's just poor, is it? Messy, 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 messy. I don't know. Q. Oh, it is Q. Well, blow me. Please give the result uh, what? Please give the result of a pedestrian weighing 123 kilograms with a car travelling at 62 mile an hour. What is the flesh ratio factor as indicated in the manual? I would probably say it's probably a 103 at that sort of speed. Welcome to quarantine. Yay! Yeah, that's right, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, Neil. D-I-R star E-X-E. Or star bat, as the case may be. Image XL. Quarantine. Who was it by? Game Tech. Uh, new game. Please wait. What does that say? Chemo. Hmm. Welcome to quarantine. Okay. How do you start it? Oh, arrows. Okay. There's a shoot button somewhere. Oh, space. Wait. Yeah. Take that. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. Yep, sorry about that. Do you want lift? No. Oh. Red dot, what does that mean? Oh. Baddy? I don't know. Oh, wait. Half off. Um, right. All you have to do is pick people up. Crazy taxi style. Crazy taxi. Why are there no people? That'll teach you. Anyway, that works just fine. This must be lower spec, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember what the... Um, what the minimum specs are for that one. What have we got? Links. SF. What's SF? Oh, I know what SF is for all the Amiga fan fans out there. Uh, please enter. It's probably uh, 98 from memory. Yep, there we go. Okay, and this is another one I don't know. Well, I do know it, obviously, but I don't know it from DOS. Never even knew it came out on DOS. This is a pointless exercise, of course. 
uh, but I was more interested in seeing um, what sort of performance the Raspberry Pi can do quickly and obviously I think it's fair to say it's definitely a 486 a good 486 um, emulation speed and this is non don't you jump oh, out uh, this is a non over oh let it be this is a non overclocked uh, overclocked uh, CPU and no there is no input lag as you can see by my stellar oh shit uh, game performance Evening all. Hello, Peter. ZX Renew. How are you, sir? Oh, Oop. there we go. Uh, Super Frog. Okay, that's enough of that. So let's try one more. Um, Ultima Seven was slow. Ooh. Okay, that might be a video for tomorrow. I'm just doing a... let's get out of this thing. Exit, okay. Um, yeah, if you fire a few games over anyone who who's tried them on the Pi 3 and they were a little slow, I would be only too happy to try them and do a little... Uh, a little compilation of games. Exit. I forgot to say, how'd you get out of the bloody thing? Oh, there you go. Um, yeah. I'll give it a go. Unless it's too fast, it has no limiter. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that uh, retro man cave. But we can always have a little look. Uh, go on then, for the sake of completeness. Uh, golf, I think it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, mouse, now you're talking. Fortunately, it's no serial mouse, it's USB. Can I continue? No. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Now, I do remember playing this on an Amiga 2000 back in the olden days. And whilst it wasn't slow, it was certainly wasn't fast by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, balls. That's on the short stuff. Ooh, it's in the deep stuff. Continue. So this is a change saw short, is it? Uh, which way am I going? Where am I? Oh, I must be going that way, must I? Don't know. Let's do a chip. Oh no. Draw, put, yeah, chip, go on then. Yep, pretty damned impressive stuff. Oh, the ball is in play. Coolio. Okay, guys, I think that'll do. Obviously, my skills at golf are pretty impressive. Last thing I want to do is uh, get people badgering me for network play of links. So I'll leave it there. And like I say, if you have any games or lists of games you would like me to try, I'd only be too happy to stick a few on here and see how we get on. Control F9 to escape. So that is a Raspberry Pi 4. Doing a little bit of DOS. Excellent it is too. Okay, chaps. Thank you very much, Neil. And Peter. And Cotter. I shall see you next time. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Um, I'll, I'll see you in the next vid. Take it easy.